All right. Dog's messing with my background there. All right. So, uh, yeah. Last we left off, uh, you guys had made it to the village of Trowpod uh, and made arrangements with the river dwarf, Belnar. Uh, you spent the night at the Cricket Inn in, in Tavern. Uh, Hyman spent most of the evening uh, entertaining the, the locals and his companions with uh, some entrancing tunes from his bagpipes. Uh, Raid, Raid was feeling uh, rather generous and was buying rounds for everybody. Uh, Achilles yeah. partook in some heavy drinking for the first time in his life and got predictably uh, shwasted and felt not too shabby the next morning. Uh, as you guys set out to Greenwin uh, on Belnar's barge it, with Ride Direct still along from the ride after you had uh, saved him from the Knolls, uh, you guys made your uh, were going planning on stopping off at the Bright Hammer Monastery as the halfway point between Trailpod and Greenwin. Uh, while on the river, uh, you were set on upon by the old Croc, as Belnar referred to him. Uh, apparently had been a, somewhat of a nemesis for Belnar and his river riders for, for many years uh, as a giant crocodile. Uh, and he offered 50 gold pieces to anyone who could manage to kill the, the creature. Uh, so as would have it, Bajark decided he needed an epic launch onto the uh, crocodile's back, succeeded, but also managed to uh, find himself between the jaws of the creature Uh Luckily for him, uh, Kellick was uh, on hand to send some magic missiles well-placed uh, at the croc and uh, put the killing blow on him, much to everyone else's chagrin. Kellick walked away with 50 gold pieces for that one. Uh, so after a few more hours, you arrived at the monastery, but it was vacant, which was uh, very disturbing to Belnar, and he took off running for the uh, monastery. You guys followed him up and found it overran with undead creatures. Uh, after kind of searching and clearing out some of the undead, you found that yeah, three of them were, were actually uh, reanimated monks from the monastery itself that proved a little bit troublesome for you guys uh, as they had retained some of their abilities um, from their previous lives. Uh, but you managed to eliminate the threat and discovered a... Uh, uh, a chest that the the monks used to keep some of their their treasure, um, and a, after some brain racking uh, time trying to figure out how to work that puzzle, uh, you guys found some pretty cool items, and you headed down to the uh, you know <laughs> headed down to the barge to spend the night and uh, spent the spent the night reminiscing with uh, Rydrek and Belnar about the. Bright Hammer monks and their hospitality uh, while partaking in, some of you partook in some of the uh, ale that you had found down in the uh, in the cellar where they had brewed the beer. And uh, you guys wake up, uh, some of you still on guard duty. Uh, and Belnar, as he starts checking the barge, uh, he notices a small boat uh, aimlessly, and he points it out to you. Rob, you said it was like early morning, and and, and this is like kind of misty, or I kind of it's pretty clear. Sun's starting to come up. You guys can see the boat. It's you know coming from upstream. Can we tell if there's any like markings or anything on it? See a name on the prow? Make a uh, perception check. Hey Rob, does it look like anybody's in the boat? Uh, well, we'll see what Kellett came up with. First, ah, 
There we go. So, Eight good. Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> All right. Um, no, it, it's like a small, small rowboat. You know, not something you would probably see making uh, long distance traveling of any kind. Um, and as you kind of a little bit closer, you notice there's uh, some arrows uh, sticking out of it, but you uh, you can't quite know what's in the boat. That's not good. All right. Uh, for anybody who's not awake, we start to kind of get everybody up to uh, up to speed, especially Raid. Yeah, let me uh, roll that constitution for how drunk I am. God! <laughs> A 13? <laughs> uh, let's see how I'm feeling tonight. <laughs> You're fine. All right, cool. So. Little, little, little bit of twinges in the in the stomach there, but other than that, you're you're fine. Oh, that's yeah, gonna be good in a rolling river in this tub of a boat. <laughs> hey, uh, everybody, look! There's a there's a there's a rowboat coming in the river. There's some arrows sticking out of it. Looks like uh, maybe we need to take a take a look at this. Might be uh, something's happened further up river. Belnar will offer to throw a rope to somebody if they want to try to snag it. He's got a hook on it. So it's kind of just drifting with the, the current? Yep. I'll, I'll try. All right, go ahead and make a uh, strength check followed by a dex check. Okay. So, has anyone yelled to see who's over there yet? I don't oh, think so. Yelled. Hey, who's over there? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so, you don't get anything. <laughs> I add my... With the strength check, Rob, do I just add my bonus and my proficiency? I, if, you, if you're proficient in athletics, you can add athletics to it. Otherwise, just your strength modifier. Okay. All right. I, I am proficient. Well, I'm, hold on a minute. Yeah, no, I'm not proficient. So we'll just that's gonna be sixteen for the strength. Okay. And then the deck the dex is gonna be uh twelve plus uh one. Thirteen. All right, so you get it. You actually kinda overshoot the boat a little bit. Um, but as you kinda start to pull on it, you're the the hook does kinda snag onto the boat and you're able to uh to pull it in up, up to the up to the side of the barge. Okay. And you guys are still docked at the at the monastery. So, and when, and Corwin, as you as you pull the bar or the boat up to the barge, you actually see a uh, a dwarf with uh, with black hair and a black beard and a couple of arrows uh, sticking out of his chest, laying in the bottom of the boat. Okay. Hey, I'll, the owner I'll the jump down there. That's unfortunate. I'll jump down there and, and, and then try to lift him up to somebody. Belnar will, will will run over and he he helps kind of pull him into the boat and you kind of hear hear him gasp. Uh, it's, it's, it's me cousin, Kelnar. <laughs> and he starts like taking him, trying to see if he's if he's still alive. I was about to just, like stump on his skull. <laughs> <laughs> As you're kind of checking him, Belnar just kind of just slumps back on his on his ass and just his head just kind of down. Yeah, he's having a bad day. <laughs> he is. He's, he is not having having a great time at the moment. Um, so uh, he is not alive, uh, and <laughs> you're able to uh, de determine that it, it's probably been a, a day or so since he uh, since he passed. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, ritual cast a preserving spell on him. All right. As soon as I find it. So he won't become any more dead. <laughs> yep. Well, it also prevents from turning undead. I runs over to the side of the boat, and he grabs one of the uh, arrows and pulls it out of the, the side of the boat there and kind of looks at it and then just chunks it into the river. You know, filthy orcs. 